Welcome to a Crash Course in Ink. In this video, I'm going to talk about alternatives. So as the name implies, alternatives give us the way to, to provide alternative text to a user. They created using open and closing curly brackets around some series of text. And then, depending on how we construct that alternative, they do slightly different things. So let's look at some examples. So over here, I've got my text on the left-hand side and my preview on the right-hand side. I'm going to create my first alternative. I'm going to start with an opening curly bracket. The first of the options, use the bar between these, and then close it. So now I have my first use of an alternative. So an alternative provides one of the different alternatives within it. In this case, I have beach or forest. Well, because I've constructed the alternative this way, it's going to provide beach. Now, let's shake this up a little bit by adding in a new divert to a knot called location. Then I'm going to wrap my existing code within this knot. And now, of course, we've run out of content. So what I want to do then is create a sticky choice. I don't want the text to appear, so I'm using selective output. And it's going to divert back again. So this time we have beach. Let's restart the story. If I choose again, we have forest. If I choose again, we have forest, forest, forest. So this is our first use of an alternative. What's in its basic setup, it will move through the list, providing each alternative in turn. It will come to the end, and then it will stop. And so this is our first use of alternative, moving through a list and stopping. There are other forms of alternatives as well. Two, in fact, are particularly notable, the first of which is cycle. So as we notice, we moved through these and then stopped. What if we wanted to keep moving through these? Well, one type of an alternative is a cycle. We create a cycle using the same syntax of creating an alternative, that is opening and closing curly brackets with a bar or pipe between our different options, but in front of the first option, we put an ampersand. Now they cycle through. So let's restart my story, and we see beach, choose again, forest, beach, forest, beach, forest. So now we are cycling through each alternative. And so this is a cycle. It's a variant of alternative. With our first use of alternative, we use open and closing curly brackets around them with a pipe or bar between our different options, and we move through them and we stopped at the end. With our new cycle variant of this, we cycle through all of this. Well, I mentioned there were two particularly notable variations of alternative, the first of which was this, a cycle. So we cycle through our different options. The other of which is a shuffle or a random. So we do that by putting in front of the first one, instead of an ampersand, a tilde. And this will provide a random selection from all of the alternatives each time it comes through this. So let's restart. Choose again, forest. Choose again, beach. Forest, forest, beach. And we're basically flipping a coin. So with a shuffle, we're getting a random entry each time. And then we're showing that to the user. So the three different things covered in this video are the three different primary uses of alternatives. The first of which is we construct an alternative by using opening and closing curly brackets and then our separate options within the, all of the alternatives are separated by a bar or a pipe. And we notice then that they're actual text. So if I provide extra space, it would then show up. And so the bar or the pipe separates them. And our first use was opening, closing curly brackets. We moved through them and then stopped at the last one. The two other variants I looked at here were cycles, which cycle through all of the options, and shuffles, which picks a random one each time. We saw with a cycle, I added the ampersand in front of it. And it cycled through all of the different alternatives, or with a tilde, provided a random entry each time or shuffled them as if they were a deck of cards. So these are the three primary uses of alternatives.
We can use the one case if we want to just move through and stop at the end, a cycle if we want to move through all of them all of the time, or a shuffle if we want to just pick out one from our existing set each time we do it. Thanks for watching.